What's going on my Cardano friends? It is your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be going over the best Cardano NFT tools in existence and to be honest this is going to be a shorter video and I'm really just going to be covering two or three tools that I think everyone should be using and they are very useful for making profit short term and also for gaining conviction by talking with people in these tools and also using these tools to capitalize on the best possible moments to get into projects and things alike. Before we jump into the video, I also want to mention that if you don't want to spend all your ADA on NFTs and you want to earn some passive ADA on your ADA, you can do so by staking with the Jack stake pool. Now, in today's video, I don't want to go too in depth on the nitty gritty technical details of all the tools. I'm not going to do full in depth, but I really want to just tell you the top two or three tools that I think people should be using to gain an edge when it comes to buying, selling, holding NFTs on Cardano. And honestly, the best tool is going to be social media. But more specifically to me, the best tool for NFT information, whether it be alpha or whether it be beta information, um, whether it may be, I do believe is going to come from convicted groups of people that pay a lot of attention to this space. For me, this is the Dead Pixels Discord. It's free to go there. General chat is where everything is. All of the information that is discussed here is public. Anyone can join. There's not even a holder chat right now. And this is where I spend a lot of time learning about people's interests, people's convictions, as a lot of the people in this Discord are heavily convicted in dead pixels and have a lot of great knowledge on the space and Cardano NFTs in general that they can spot projects or gain conviction on other projects that might rub off on you so you can check them out for yourself. To be honest, I don't really know how this Discord formed um, and got so big and popular. I remember back in the day when Dead Pixels was minting, it wasn't quite as cool to be in here. You know, there wasn't that many people, but now there's a lot of people who have a lot of knowledge in the space. And just in general, they don't censor anything in here. AF builds the project. The general chat is called Degeneral for a reason. And to be honest, I think this is probably the best free resource that anyone is going to get to participate in Cardano NFTs and really gain an edge on learning about things that are coming up, whether they be just mints in general that are a flip, whether it be just mints that are going to be long term, whether it be products that people are investing in now to for the long term, um, there's a lot of information you can get there. You can ask questions and someone's going to answer you. And also, it's a good place to learn if you're especially if you're new, just about everything NFT related and how the scene works. There is a lot of knowledgeable people in there. And to be honest, I wouldn't be where I am today without this chat. And also, it is a bit fun to talk to people who are interested in similar things. Now, I said Dead Pixel Discord because that's a Discord that I use and I find a lot of value in. There are going to be other Discords out there that are general public chats. Maybe they're holder exclusives. I don't know. I really like the fact that it's public. Anyone can join. Anyone can weigh in on the conversation. And also, it is based in an NFT project, which is kind of nice because you also get to talk about something that you might like a lot. I like Dead Pixels. Maybe you have a project similar that you have a lot of conviction in. And hopefully, they let you talk about other projects in the chat. A lot of projects don't do that. Dead Pixels is one of those rare exceptions where... They're just trying to build value here and AF lets the mods control things. It's civilized and it's also very beneficial for people who want to learn about Cardano NFTs. Before we move on to the second tool, I want to mention that out of some mints that I've learned about from Dead Pixels and also just my friends that I made in Dead Pixels who know a lot about the space and have taught me stuff about the space and showed me projects that they're interested in, I have made thousands upon thousands of ADA just from being in this Discord, essentially, from minting and flipping for a small profit to also putting in large investments into things like Mikasi because of people showing interest from dead pixels and then allowing me to go and do my own research myself. And I do put the most value on this, this tool, this way of communicating with people, this way of finding out new information and finding it from a place that have people that you know who have made good decisions and may, got, also gotten a bit lucky in the past on their convictions within Cardano NFTs, especially people who have pixels they have been holding for quite a while likely. And that doesn't just come out of nowhere. Most people would sell off at 500 to 1000 floor or even less if it 
if they give them the chance, but because there's a lot of people with a lot of conviction for a good reason, that gives you the opportunity to really multiply your initial investment into a huge amount. Okay, moving on from the Dead Pixels Discord and Discord as a tool in general, I also want to talk about CNFT Jungle. Now, CNFT Jungle, I don't use it that much as I haven't been sniping lately. My new strategy is more of a investment and look at products that are building and undervalued. I will talk about that in a separate video. I'm going to make another video on that in the next few days if you want to see it. But basically, CMT Jungle is the place to go to for me if you're going to be looking at any kind of statistics or especially if you want to find you know, upcoming mints or things that are minting right now. Um, as well as they do have a sniping tool, which I'll show you in a sec after this loads, but it is a great place to get all your information. Um, it also, you know, they don't charge people to list on their site, which is a great benefit because that means also that there's going to be a lot more collections able to access and view their data from if you use CNFT jungle rather than some other tools, which might be a bit more limited. Also, I've talked to the people at CMC Jungle. I really do like what they're building here and they have open source solutions coming that other people can build on top of, which is another great reason that I would like to support them and showing you the tool. Also, it's just a great product in general. If you go to a collection, they even show things like the amount listed and other really interesting facts and pieces of data that will be very useful, especially if you're someone trying to flip or find good opportunities on the listings. But they also have things integrated like how much not how much yummy token you're going to get from staking your yummies if you buy these. Um, that's just interesting features that are added. I don't really think they charge for these things. They're just trying to get more publicity. But really, everything that they've built is very nice and very helpful, especially for someone new in this space. And I think CMC Jungle takes the cake for me in terms of sniping and just overall all the data being in one place in general. Honestly, I'm not going to go over every single feature on CMT Jungle, but I would heavily encourage you to check them out for yourself as each feature does have a different purpose and serve a different audience. They also do have a sniping tool, the Predator extension. It allows you to do a bunch of different things. I personally don't really snipe that much anymore, and I mostly focus, as I mentioned earlier, on fo on long-term gains and long-term holds. Sometimes I do play around with sniping, but in general, flipping is not my cup of tea. However, there is a lot of money to be made using tools like this for high volume mints, like say the Bake Nation mint from Clay Nation. Also, pretty sure that CNFC Jungle will show you and using the Predator extension, the listings on JPEG before they actually come up and are easily refreshable and buyable when you're on the JPEG site. So that may or may not be another benefit to using these tools. Definitely, you can learn a lot more about these things if you're interested in flipping in the CNFC Jungle Discord. I'll leave that link down in the description if I remember. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but I do want to mention that CMC Jungle did offer me a free trial for their jungle sniping tool or the predator tool. And I feel, feel like I'm just obligated to say that. So I'm going to tell you that um, I haven't used it at all, but I know there is a lot of great tools in there. And I know a lot of people have had a ton of success making probably thousands of ADA on things like the Bake Nation Mint using their tool. Now, another tool which I think is pretty essential is OpenCNFT. This is just general analytics. CNFT Jungle does cover a bulk of these analytics, but OpenCNFT also is a great place to go and check, hey, what is going on with these collections? How much sales have we seen lately? And what are the prices and attributes on these sales to see if you're getting a good deal when you go and buy something? Being able to filter on these collections, whether it be pastel buds, I actually don't know what this is, or another collection, um, using the filter by attributes and seeing sales is really useful and really helpful just to see, hey, maybe I'm getting ripped off or maybe I'm getting a steal here. Uh, and being able to really just see all the volume going through is going to help you if you want to make short term flips, understand what you're getting into. The last tool for today is going to be just Pool PM. Pool PM lets you see your NFTs and it is one of the most useful tools for Cardano asset viewing and wallet viewing in general. Highly recommend Pool PM. You can also stake with Smog if you don't want to stake with Jackpool and you can support Pool PM as they have been developing on Cardano and continue to develop on Cardano for pretty much free and everything is pretty nice what they put together. I use Pool PM every single day and I really just want to mention that because I think coming over to Pool PM, putting your address in here in the top right and being able to see all your assets so cleanly is a huge benefit to understand what's in your wallet and keep track of everything. 
Lastly, before we go, I want to mention that I do have massive biases to a lot of projects, mainly because of my convictions in them. Biases are really just opinions, so I don't really know what to tell you. They're going to remain likely, and I'm sorry if you don't like dead pixels or projects that I like, but there's a reason that I like these projects, and the fundamentals behind them, to me, speak more volumes than just the hype around floor price or other, th other things that other people may be focused on for other projects. In general, the best tool you can use is going to be your own brain and making your own decisions. Because if you're following other people, if you don't have conviction, even in dead pixels, there's people in the chat who are worried about the price. If you're one of those people who is overinvested and you have to worry day to day about the floor price, then you should probably rethink your positions and be careful going forward. I'm not trying to make anyone broke. I'm not trying to make anyone dump all their money here. Me, myself, I've made some degenerate plays and they have paid off. But even if they didn't pay off, sometimes I would have been okay losing a couple thousand ADA in those situations. And if you can't say the same, just please, please be extra careful when you're making bigger decisions and use your own brain, think long term and wonder how will this affect me if it goes south. Anyways, that's all video for today. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button on the way out. And if you really want to join me in my mom's basement, you can even stake with the Jack Stake Pool. Anyways, it's been your friend Jack. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.